Hello everyone, we will look into how to create a npm package using angular 7 application. To speed up the demo, I have created two folders, one is client and other one is library. These two applications, we can, uh, we will use this library application to create a npm package and we will use this client application to consume this library and package created from this angular application so to begin with let's uh, create a empty solution ng new I will name it as library and I will use create application as false just to have a default structure instead of I don't want to create any ng application so I will use this create application as false and also I don't want to install the npm packages by default because I already copied node modules folder just to speed up that demo let's run this command I don't want to use any angular routing and will go with the default CSS as you can see it did not create application and if you look into angular.json we don't have any projects now let's dive into the library folder and generate the library using ng generate library and we'll name it as demo lib and also I don't want to install npm package as I have already copied known modules folder skip install and run this command as you can see it will create a project folder and it will have demo lib library inside this project folder and also it has a source and lib folder before that Let's look into the angular JSON again. If you see, it has created a demo lib project. As you can see, configuration is here. So let's go back to demo lib. And if you see, it has a default service module and component. And also it has a public underscore api.ts file. This is important when you want to export something out of your npm package you can mention it in this file so to for this demo what we will do we will create a simple module model employee and also we'll have one method called get employees inside our service let's create first employee model And to speed up this demo, I already have this interface employee which has properties ID, name, age and gender. And in the service, we will create a method called get employees. This will return hard coded list of employee array. and let's add a reference so as you can see it just returns list of employees and we will use this array in our client application to show it on the grid so we are done with this library implementation so let's package first this demo lib project to do that let's first Build this demo lib project. Demo lib. So once build is successful, it will create a dist folder inside your library. As you can see, it created the dist folder and it will have a demo lib project and we want to package this demo lib project so let's 
point to the particular folder let's in this case it's dist slash demo lib so we'll use npm pack command to package this demo library as you can see it is created demo lib package and if and also it is like if you see it's a version number you can change the version of this demo library using this package.json if you see you can update the version number in this file and it will generate a package using that version number so we are done with creating a package let's go back to the folder library and inside this demo lib we have this demo lib package copy this package and paste into c drive just i uh, we will use this package in our client application and we'll see how let's go back to the client application so if you see client application has just known modules folder let's create a application using ng new client and i want to skip the installation of new get packages and also i don't want to generate spec files so run this command don't want to use routing and we'll go with the default css so as you can see it has generated src and app folder let's go and open package.json and we'll use the package whatever we have generated this demo lib in this project so to do that let's add demo lib and we'll instruct the compiler to pick it from the file system in this case it's in my c drive and we'll use npm install before that let's move back to clients folder and we'll use npm install to install this package or dependent package it takes couple of minutes so let's go back and open our app component okay yeah installation is done let's uh, confirm this uh, let's go back to our client application and node modules folder we should be seeing this demo lib okay as you can see this demo lib package is installed in this client application so let's go back to the project what we will do we will display it in grid so to do that let's go to the component and let's add a constructor it will take service i want to use demo lib service to do that first we need to import the package import i want to import from demo lib okay i want to import demo lib service and also the employee object so in this case demo lib service and let's create a one property 
employees of type employee array and will assign this employees to service dot get employees so we are getting this array of employees here from this package and let's move back to the component.html to speed up the demo I already have HTML generated it will just loop through the employee array as you can see it iterates through employees and it will display ID name age and gender and I also I'm also using this bootstrap dependencies in this uh, HTML so let's install bootstrap to just have a nicer look bootstrap let's go back to styles.css once installation is successful will import bootstrap into our style styles.jss so let's add bootstrap test slash css slash bootstrap So I've just added a reference to bootstrap and let's build I will use directly serve and open it in default browser it should display the list of uh, employees in this in bootstrap table let's see okay successful and it should open default browser as you can see it has list of all the employees and it's displaying on the UI in this case we use the package from the file system maybe you can have your own npm private repository you can reference it from npm private repository as well so uh, that's it for this demo thanks for watching